Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today. Tuesday, the 21st of May, 2024. I'm Ken the Magic Odumi. Open Heavens is authored by that in the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Father, we are grateful for another opportunity to come to your feet, O Lord, to learn from you. Father, we pray, O Lord, that your word will be a light unto our feet, that you will illuminate our lives. You will transform us. You will help us. You will draw us closer to you, O Lord. You will give us knowledge and understanding through your word. And you will give us this knowledge and understanding to navigate life, O Lord. To be always at the position of advantage to the glory of your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Today we are looking at love your enemies. Love your enemies. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Luke 6 verse 35. But love your enemies and do good and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Love, but love your enemies and do good and lend hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Our Bible reading is taken from the book of Proverbs 25, verse 21 to 22. If your enemies are hungry, give them food to eat. If they are thirsty, give them water to drink. You will heap burning coals of shame on their heads. And the Lord will reward you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The message. The most difficult instruction Jesus Christ gave to his disciples is probably what we have in today's memory verse. He wants us to love our enemies if we are genuine children of God. What are we to do about this seemingly difficult command? Firstly, you should know that his commands are not grievous. First John verse 3. Also, when you consider the benefits of being a child of God, you will realize that the Lord command is a little price to pay. Amazed by these benefits, John the Apostle wrote in 1 John 3 verse 1, Behold what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the Son of God. The commandment of the Lord to love your enemies is not just a New Testament doctrine. God commands us to do so because He is love Himself. First John 4 verse 7 He loved us even when we were in His enemy's camp as sinners. Romans 5 verse 8 And since that He commands us to be perfect even as He is, Matthew 5 verse 48 It means that we have to be like Him in all things. Ephesians 5 verse 1 even in loving our enemies. Why is it important to God that you love your enemies? One reason is that it practically reflects the true nature of our Father, showing Him to be different from what the devil portrays Him to be. Genesis 3 verse 5 When unbelievers experience such uncommon love from you, they are convinced beyond reasonable doubt that our God is good. Many people testify that they gave their lives to Christ because of the benevolent acts of Christians. Your perceived enemies today may be your best Christian brother or sisters tomorrow. If only you will heed the God's instruction to love them. Through your love, their wickedness will melt away. One of my relatives who was an idol worshipper and was well known for his wickedness, decided to follow me to church when he experienced the goodness of the Lord flowing through me into his life. When he was, com com when he was confronted by others as to why he abandoned his deity and foolishly followed me to serve the Lord, he confessed that he was left with no other option but to join me in serving Jesus Christ because of the love 
had shown him. He asked those questioning his decision. Can you see how my life has been spiritually and materially transformed? Beloved, be good to your enemies and never repay them with evil. Praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is love your enemies. Like Kanadi had said, he said this is probably one of the most difficult commandments that Jesus Christ gave his disciples. And you and I as children of God, as disciples of Christ, the word of God is coming to you that we should love our enemies. The Bible says that we should love them. We should lend to them, hoping for nothing. We should not lend to them because we want to show them that you see, you know, that you just want to prove a point. But don't even, don't expect anything from them. Just show it out of your benevolent heart. Like that man, that Baba Deboye's relative, who, you know, it's not that it was when he got to the church, you know, it was the act of that goodness of the of what Pastor Adeboye had been showing. It moved that man to follow him to church. So the day he said, come, let us go to my church to see my God. He will want to see what is in the life of this man. That he has shown him so much goodness. Let that love reflect in you. Let it show in you. Don't be the one to tell you that. Don't you know I'm a Christian? Let people see love in you. And want to and say, yes, I would like this man's God. Or this woman's God to be my God. That if my life will be like this if I come your to your church. Yes, I want to come. And say that, yes, for the way this man has acted or this woman has acted, especially even when they have been evil to you, but they can see that even from their wickedness, their evil acts, you know, they are weak. Maybe per perhaps the more you do good to them, they are even trying to do evil to you. But yet you are still showing love. Let them be able to see that indeed, this one is a child of God. Let them even want to inquire that, how do you do it? What, who, who do you serve? And they want to say that, let this person's God be my God. I pray that the Lord will give us the grace to show love regardless in the mighty name of Jesus. Expecting nothing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just like we have been told that, yes, it's looking like one of the most difficult. But when you consider the benefit of being a child of God, what God did for us, what Jesus Christ was, while we were and I, when we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Like our daddy, the Lord has coined this. He said he loved us even when we were in his enemy's camp as sinners. When we were in the camp of the enemy, that is the devil, as sinners, yet he loved us, he died for you and I. So therefore, who are we not to show love? Who are we to now feel that we are? It's just like you were once a slave, and you were so much of a slave, and that this man now brought you to his house and gave you a place, gave you a job. Now, when you see slaves, you can't also liberate them. Who are you to say you can't liberate a slave when you were once a slave? So, if you look at how the love that God has shown in delivering you and I, then we should know that we should love. And also very importantly, because God is love. We must then say it because what he wants, he said, be perfect even as I am perfect. And one of the ways of aligning with this perfection is showing love and even to our enemies. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah. And like we have been told, that we need you know, to change the narratives of the devil. The devil has given people to make them feel that God is wicked. You know, just like it was deceiving Eve. But we need to demonstrate that the nature of God is love. By we ourselves showing love even to the wicked. Showing love to that man that is backbiting you. Showing love to that man that you know has done some grievous evil to you. Maybe when he now needs help. You are not trying to remember the wickedness that the person has done. You are not trying to remember in 1900. How the person did one wickedness for your father or for your mother. Or when you were a child, the person did not pay your school fees even when you needed it. Your mother's health care, the person could not even help you. You know, perhaps maybe the person was even the one that, because the person was so uncaring and it led to the death of one of your relatives. But God is telling us that regardless, we should show love. 
it just is similar to what I was telling one of some of my colleagues today that you know if somebody well, at what level can you say you should not forgive God wants us to forgive regardless and to show love and so that we can demonstrate that our God is love and also very importantly there is a reward when we show love we saw it it's even in the memory verse he said and your reward shall be great I pray that even as we go all out to show love, who you can think of it, who is that your enemy? That you know that, you know and you know, that because you know that person is wicked or evil, you have been hindering the progress of that person. You know that person needs one help or the other, but you cannot just forgive the person and you are not willing to help the person. You are not willing to even pray for the person. Maybe that your enemy is greatly sick. And yet you are happy. You can't even pray for the person. Maybe that person needs or his children needs help. But because that person has done one evil or the other, maybe it's your, it's maybe your parents, your mother and your father, you have decided that no way, I can't go back, I can't talk. God, the word of God is coming to you today that you should show love and expect nothing. And you will see how God will be watching. And as you and I show love, we will show love even in evangelizing for God, that souls will be drawn unto him. We will end, a lot of souls will be harvested to the kingdom of God by the reason of the love that we we'll demonstrate, the grace to demonstrate love regardless, irregardless of what has happened. The Lord will give unto you and I and will be greatly rewarded in the name of Jesus. Amen. It says, Beloved, be good to your enemies. Never repay them with evil. You'll say, yes, you have been wicked to me, then I will do evil. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The action point, love those that hate you. And as we do that, may you be greatly rewarded in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for being part of the review. God bless you. Amen.